Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for February 24th to March 9th. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And also, my beautiful darlings, if you're a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel, JWZ Mysteries. And all the information is in the description box below. So my beautiful darlings, we are going to be looking at your astrology first, and then we're going to look at your um, romantic love life and see who's coming towards you. So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right. So what's, how is Sagittarius astrology going to be effective for February 24th to March 9th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Let's also use this deck as well. How is Sagittarius' astrology going to be affected for February 24th to March 9th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we got Moon. We got Libra. We have 10th house. And we have Pluto, which is a higher octave of Mars. Okay, so we have Four of Cups, Six of Cups, Four of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, and then I'm also going to go a little bit further on this. How is Sagittarius' astrology being affected February 24th to March 9th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see moon card again and we see mountain we see lilies and we see bouquet okay so it looks to me with the moon card energy obviously we see that you have your intuition is really on point okay coming up here um, you have some kind of perception of a situation. You're perceiving a situation. Your intuition is telling you about something when it comes to some kind of missed opportunity. So you're, um, you're feeling like, you know, you're going to get a feeling that um, someone feels like they've missed some kind of opportunity with you. And something to do with recognition or wanting to get recognition here, okay, because Moon card is recognition. Uh, Libra is to do with relationships, obviously it's ruled by Venus, so this could be we doing with a partnership or even a love partnership here, and we see some renewals of the past. Something is going to come back around again with the Six of Cups energy, uh, when it, and, and there's been some delays or some challenges here. We see 10th house, there's something to do with work, okay? And uh, seeing a situation as an uphill battle, uh, something to do with a house, a home, um, and or wanting a happy home here and trying to be patient. We see Pluto, which is a higher up team of Mars. Uh, Pluto energy for me feels also like a, like a Scorpio kind of energy. So it's like massive changes here and a huge offer is being presented. You're getting some kind of gift. You're receiving something here. So some kind of rebirth is happening. So I get the sense that you guys are going to get some signs, some spiritual signs before this happens uh, because somebody was concerned about missing some kind of opportunity. Moon is a representation of our emotions. It's a representation of our intuition. Okay. And we see that Libra is to do with the seventh house about relationships. So intuitively, there's some kind of relationship here, and it could be a work-related relationship with the 10th house. Um, but we see that there is some kind of new beginning, some kind of rebirth here. Something that you weren't expecting, there's an offer being presented here. It, it was something that you thought you missed an opportunity with, okay? Looks like you're going to get recognition here. There's been some delays, but now there's going to be a renewal around this situation, around this partnership. Um, and it looks like it's going to be solid here. Four Wands says something to do with solid. It could be real estate. Okay, something to do with a house or home or just a very solid foundation. It looks like a celebration is going on here because of this huge offer that's being presented, this rebirth, this um, new beginning. You know, it's a renewed situation here and a missed opportunity 
you felt like was a missed opportunity for you. So you're gonna recover a missed opportunity, okay? So just be clear cut. Uh, it looks like with a partnership, okay? And it's something to do with work and finance, okay? Because we've got the 10th house involved with this situation. Okay, so, and intuitively, you're listening to your intuition. Because you've listened to your intuition, you're able to recover this uh, missed opportunity. Uh, and you thought it was, you may have thought in the past it was lost altogether, but it was just delayed, all right? So, and you have gained a lot of wisdom here, and uh, we see there's something solid here, which is actually bringing about this offer. It's being represented here to you, being offered to you. Um, and gift card can represent a sense of appreciation, a gift. You may be receiving something very tangible, money, family, children, long-term. So that's the Ace of Pentacles energy. And if it does to do with the work or finance, you're being given something of, of substantial value here with the Ace of Pentacles coming out. Okay, so let me move this out of the way. And let me move into your romantic love life here. All right, what's up my Sagittarius's romantic love life for February 24th to March 9th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Okay. See, what's up my Sagittarius's romantic love life February 24th to March 9th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Oh, wow. You guys are going to get your wishes fulfilled here with the Nine of Cups energy. Oh, my goodness. Something is going to be accomplished and completed here when it comes to your romantic love life. Some of you guys, it's travel. Some of you guys, it's uh, something that you want to accomplish or complete here in your romantic love life. It's going to be accomplished here. You're going to have to make a decision coming up here with the Two of Wands energy. There's a choice coming in, and it's coming in fast with the Eight of Wands energy. Let's keep going here. There seems to be a lot of confusion about what to do with the Seven of Cups energy, but we see the truth will be spoken here with the King of Swords energy. We see this Ace of Swords. Let me just go all the way down here. Potential signs of the situation, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So we can see the influence of your romantic love life is needing to make some kind of decision or getting a sense of justice here. Okay, with the justice card energy. Who's coming towards you? This could be a work-related situation or you have more than one person with the Three of Pentacles energy. Your advice is to listen to your intuition. Let's go down another layer here. Yes. I'm just going to go down another layer here. to get more information. Okay, and let's also clarify that as well. So who's coming towards you? The person who's coming towards you gives you a sense of confusion or uh, I get the sense that there's three individuals or more or less two people that you have to choose from in particular. Um, I get the sense that there are some concerns about someone getting in the middle of the situation. Um, there is someone who's very obsessed here with the devil card energy. They have a strong obsession here. So we see going first here, we see that the nine of cups is coming out. So showing me that you guys are going to fulfill what you want here. You're going to get exactly what you want here when it comes to an offer of love, ace of cups energy. Someone truly loves you. And we see... There's going to be this accomplishment or sense of completion, but there's going to be some juggling back and forth. Am I making the right decision to a pentacles energy? I need a work-life balance here. And we see that the choice is going to be made, okay? Uh, you're trying to make a choice. Should I be single and available to pursue or because of this isolation or separation with the nine of pentacles energy? So you're trying to make this choice as a sense of independence, okay? Well, the communication that's coming in is about passion. Knight of Wands energy it tells me that you're going to get very passionate communication from somebody. They're coming in fast. Knight of Wands energy. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. There's confusions uh, after this, after this passionate situation um, of why things start to slow down a little bit with the Knight of Pentacles energy. And we see that there's this truth. They're going to speak their truth about their defeated energy around this. And also, let's get some more information here. Let's use the Kipper. 
So what's going to have my Sagittarius' romantic love life? February 24th to March 9th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, what's that's clarified by? Yes, this offer of love, something you really wanted here. House and family and home. It's really hopeful about making this heavy decision because there was some kind of isolation or separation or even someone could just now be single and available to pursue. We see a person card coming out, uh, possibly somebody you work with or a friend here. Um, we see an ending. Uh, there's a want to end this overanalyzing here with the Knight of Pentacles and energy and the sense of confusion. Someone really wants your attention. They feel defeated about this situation and want to speak their truth. Okay, going down on the layer here, we see you're going to get answers and clarity about this person who wants to take a risk, a leap of faith with the full card energy. They've been thinking about you a lot. We know that because we have the obsession card. There's definitely this person is really thinking about you a lot. And we see good news when it comes to love. There is a strong attraction here. Okay. Yeah, lots of attraction, lots of thoughts, lots of thinking about you. Lots of thinking about you, lots of thoughts. It's like this person sees you from a new perspective. They have new ideas about the situation and they want to travel towards you. So this person could be far away from you. They want to travel towards you or they want to heal the connection. They want to come forward here and take some kind of action. We see because of some kind of good advice or a person card. So we see house and family, hopeful energy, an isolation and separation of a person has ended. We see recognition. This person wants attention. They're think, lots of thinking about you and they got some kind of good advice. Okay, so there is this person who is desperately in love with you and cannot stop thinking about you. Okay, so what's going to happen with my Sagittarius' romantic love for February 24th to March 9th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. A commitment to some kind of confusions and delays and challenges. Very soon a decision will have to be made. We see that there is uh, your intuition, you listen to your intuition, or you see some, some kind of spiritual sign. I need to think about this very deeply. There's this powerful power move made, being made to you to have a conversation with you to be more than just friends. Okay, and we go down the layer here, right? You are getting something unexpected. There's this unexpected here for you. And we see a person card. So definitely there's, there's an infringing an element to this situation, obviously that caused some delays and challenges, okay? And we see your advice is listen to your intuition, okay? Um, don't avoid this. Something is changing here. This big changes, get ready for big changes here, massive changes. Okay, so you know I like to be clear cut. So let's go down to the bottom of the deck here. The timing is right. We see there's this family situation which has caused some kind of crossroads. You have strong chemistry and passion with someone. There's a little bit of a cautious energy, but you're like, this is the best decision for me because I love this person. I have feelings for this person. This is a person I want to be with. So we see there's a commitment to making a decision. A power move is being made because your person's like, I'm confused, what's going on with you, okay? And uh, we see that intuitively, you know, your intuition's telling you something, there's something about traditional values here. They're having a conversation with you about these delays. And um, you're really soul searching some things here and you may be leaning on friends for support, okay? To figure out what to do. Or this is a friend who wants to be more than just friends because obviously we see the Ace of Cups. Okay, moving this out of the way. House and family, we see this could be a friend, this could be a brother. We see that there's thoughts that are, that are hopeful and concerns about something ending and trying to, uh, you know, gain something here in this isolation or separation. I want your attention and someone uh, is trying to get some advice, good advice. Also, this can represent a father figure, could be somebody who is older or trying to make the wisest decision. Let's go down the layer here. Okay, 
there's an offer of love and a passionate action that's taken and a risk here or someone new, okay? Full card, someone new. There's juggling about this decision and a lot of overanalyzing, okay? Trying to find that sense of independence, okay? There's been some isolation or separation and a defeated energy and somebody wants to uh, travel towards you, move towards you, okay? Ship card, this is like the ship card for me, Six of Swords. Or uh, you're finally going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. The storm is over here with the Six of Swords energy. Um, so we see there's a lot of juggling, balancing, juggling going on. There's definitely this love interest that fulfills your desires. And then we go down to the layer. Okay, so let's bring it all together. Clear cut what's happening here. And we see this offer of love, Ace of Cups energy. Okay. You're going to fulfill your desires in the next couple weeks because you're going to feel accomplished and completed or someone who is who is far away from you is going to travel towards you. There's a choice that's going to be made to communicate about these confusions. They're going to reveal this truth and you're going to get clarity about love. And you're going to see this from a new perspective with the Page of Swords energy. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice. Can I ask some advice for my Sagittarius is when it comes to their romantic life for the highest, best, good, for the best possible outcome for them? Show me the cards they need to see. Show me the cards they need to see. Okay, so give yourself some time to think about this healing aspect. And definitely there's a lot to, uh, you're going to be in peace soon because things are going to open up, right? There needs to be an equal exchange. I feel like when, when this person opens up and speaks their truth to you, when they reveal this truth to you, this also has to be, you have to give too. You have to reveal to them as well, okay? Because you don't want to be stuck between two different situations here. You know, just be real about this sense of loss and share your feelings and your thoughts, right? So be real about what your feelings are with this person when they, when they talk with you about this situation. All right, my beautiful Sagittariuses, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I do read my comments, guys. If you guys claim this reading, if this reading resonates with you, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.